What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we will be looking at 12 volt plugs. You might have a dash cam, a navman, uh, who knows, you might have some sort of electrical product for your car that has that plug on it and we will look at how to hardwire that. Um, so first thing we'll do is go to the bench and look at what we're gonna need. All right guys, so first up we will have obviously this plug here. So let's just go ahead and say you've mounted your dash camera or your navman or whatever on the windscreen of the car. You can go ahead and run the wiring. We will take a quick look at how we can do this at the car as well. And then we're gonna get this to the fuse box. So what you need to do is find the fuse box in the car. We will go over that as well. Next part you're going to need is a female socket, okay? So we're not going to be chopping the wires on this plug because in a lot of cases, this is actually uh, works as a voltage reducer as well. So we need a female plug that will have two wires coming off the end, all right? And we look at connecting those. And then next up, depending on the fuse box, we have these fuse jumps or add circuits. Uh, and then you can also tell what by looking at the fuse box what size so if we see you can quite easily see the size of that fuse there I mean physical size that's very small that's going to be a micro okay that's just going to be standard fuse that size there when it wants to load for me um, and mini okay so there is another style as well which is looks similar to this but it's a little bit skinnier and that's a mini too um, so they're the things you're going to need all right add circuits female plug and obviously the plug from your product um, and that's all so let's go over to the car now and do some connections guys we're back in the car so what you need to do is locate the fuse box now the best way to do this is to get the instruction manual out and read it or you can just google the car in this case the fuse box is under the glove box okay just here this is a Mazda 3 your fuse box may be in the kick panel over there on the driver's side or on the dash underside, so this sort of area over on the other side. It might be in this uh, side kick panel, it might be behind this panel. Uh, there's a lot of places they put the interior fuse, so you will need to Google it and find out. Um, and then from there, we have our dash cam or it could be Navman or whatever you've got. What you wanna do is obviously plug it in, run the wiring up, We've tucked the wiring underneath here. From there, you can pull off the A pillar, which is what I've done, and actually run the wiring with the factory wiring, or you can tuck the wiring behind the rubber. We don't like to do that, especially for cars with airbags. Um, so that's completely up to you. Panels, these panels remove very easily. You can get a plastic trim tool, pop that off, slide it up. You can even use your hand, um, and then get the wiring down to the fuse box. And then from there, we'll look at our fuse connections. So with running the wiring down that A pillar, what you'll need to do is get it down toward the fuse box, which is right here. So I've just removed the kick panel. So we had one clip right there and there was also another clip um, right here. Okay, so one clip, two clips, and that panel just comes out. Right here we see a factory ground position, which I've already used for something else. So make sure on your ground wire, that's where you connect to. We want to find a good solid part of the body for our ground connection. Alright guys, so we've run our wiring down through that kick panel and we've gotten it to the fuse box. So right from here, this is where we'll be making our connection. So we'll get that female plug, plug that in, put some tape around it, okay? And what we can do is, right over here there's a factory loom. So you can zip tie it right to that factory loom. The black wire needs to go to ground, so we saw a good grounding point on the body before. So you can hit a ring terminal, put the ring terminal on, and then you can obviously undo that 10 millimeter nut and ground your power connection, uh, your ground connection, sorry. And then with the red wire, what we need to do is look at the size of the fuse. So we can see here, it's clearly not standard size. It is a mini. So what we will do now is strip the red wire, feed it into the blue part of the add circuit and then crimp it. I like to actually fold the copper over itself once we've stripped the wire. And then from there, we will feed that in. Okay, just make sure it goes into the actual metal part inside that blue area there. And then you can use some crimpers and just crimp that down. 
Okay, and just go over the whole thing and make sure it's completely crimped. Beautiful, so we have a solid crimp connection. We have a, you can use a 10, 5, or worst case, 15 size fuse. That's a 15, uh, red is 10, and 5 is orange. Now what we need to do is test our fuses. With our test light, what we want to do is put the alligator clips onto that bolt that we saw earlier when we removed the kick panel. It's a very good solid ground connection. And then obviously you'll have something that looks like this with a little probe on the end. So what we can do is start probing the fuses. Before we start making connections, what we need to do is grab so this is the panel for the fuse box in this car and as you see here it's telling us what every fuse does. So I'll be mapping out the fuses to make sure that we're not going onto an airbag fuse or you know any other fuse that we don't want to use. On the you know on your fuse panel, on the back of the fuse panel, hopefully there's something then. If not, you'll have to go to the book in the car and the book will have the the map out of the fuse box for you so you can go ahead and pick the fuse you want. Alright guys, so once we've mapped out the fuse box, we need to look at what power we want. So most things that use this plug are just going to want accessory power, okay? So it's really nice and easy to test for. What we need to do, we've mapped out the fuses so we know what's what. This fuse here is labelled cigar, okay? So it's just a cigarette lighter. Obviously no power on it. When we switch on the ignition, it gets power, which is exactly what we want. So what we'll do is just test that, okay? Ignition on, power, perfect. And we also know that when we pull the fuse out, it's not a big deal because all we're losing is a cigarette lighter. Okay, so that's okay. Now what we want to do is test again. So we see power comes from the bottom. So what we need to do in order for this fuse to work, we'll put the fuse into the add circuit. And then what we want is the wire going away from the power. So in this case, power go comes from the bottom, which means wire goes to the top. And what that allows is the power to come through this side and through the circuit and through the fuse out to the circuit and on this end through the fuse out to the wire. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. So just push that in. And that's it, she's done. Okay, so you've got your power done. You can tape up this wire, you can connect it, you know, to the to the looms there, tap it onto here. We've put some tape around our plug, and we can mount that to the loom, to the factory looms that we've got here. This wire theoretically is running, you know, to your dash cam or wherever else that we did that we looked at at the beginning. The black wire you've got to ground, and that is it. That is how she works.